Next you could start modeling based on the geometry that you have here, but it's most probably a good idea to align the axes as well. So you can place the axis and you want to find a convenient spot obviously. You want to make sure that you pick SketchUp as opposed to the point cloud. There and there. And now that is pretty good. All right. Well, pretty good. <laughs> so I'll let you, <coughs> of course, um, pick that maybe a little better for yours. But uh, in any case, this gives me something to work with. Um, so now, like I said earlier, I want to uh, work off the uh, outline of the whole thing and then look at my structural objects here. So you could now, of course, simply, you know, draw along the lines or something. That's one option. You could draw rectangles, which is, of course, a good way to also check whether things are square or squarish. <laughs> and then you can go ahead and Place things like that and so on and so forth. So you can you can work off that and this actually looks pretty good. Um, and then just add on as needed. Um, already okay now I'm losing it here but <laughs> it's it's close enough for now. Okay so that's that's one way to um, work with this and just make that a group again. Another thing is, of course, if you want to um, model something like the structural object here, the column, you can then go ahead and start doing that. And what's useful now is, of course, to somehow start verifying dimensions. So, for example, here, this comes in, and I have my fractional inches on right now at 22.27 um, and I'm pretty sure it's 22 and a quarter and then over here I have 13.99 so that looks very much like 14 to me so now you can of course um, approach it the other way around and um, create a rectangle rather than just drawing over that and now I can start just moving that in place oh, this seems to be almost on <clears throat> because I somehow you know assumed a certain size and it ended up being fairly good and again the other column of course very likely oh, okay so there's something's not aligned properly here interesting um, very likely has the same size although may not looks pretty good in mine unfortunately I don't have a scan from behind here so I can't verify these two sides so that would be one way to to look at this anyways so now you can see of course that you can um, start modeling quite nicely this way and actually what I want to do next is I'm just going to turn the walls off and the floor on and the ceiling and now of course I can go into these guys and Push pull that up. Oh, that's why. <laughs> I have to snap onto the point cloud, obviously. And push pull it down. Okay, something did not work right here. Let's try this differently. There we go. Goes to the ground. And then of course to the ceiling right there 
And then, of course, you can do that with all the other elements as well, um, whether it's the building volume or or anything else. Um, okay, so having that, I'm just going to turn my point cloud off for a minute, and I'm going to hide this one. Oops, actually, this one I can hide too. Don't have to show it. Uh, and let's get our point cloud back. Now, obviously, we want to look at the walls. I just want to see how good or bad I ended up being. So that's where this inspection map actually comes in really handy, where now I can go ahead and turn that on and give it a tolerance. Oh, 200 millimeters is a lot. So 25 millimeters, well, 25.4 technically, gives me an inch. <clears throat> so now I know if I'm within an inch of the point cloud, And hang on, actually, I'm gonna, I may not be capturing all here. So let's do the main cloud. But this is one way, of course, to check whether you're on or not. And then, of course, we may wanna get our points a little bigger. There you go. Ah. Okay. In any case, so that's one way to model here. Basically working off, you know, some sections and then creating outlines and working off that and then verifying things. Another way is, of course, that you can do solid, solid modeling and you can um, start placing an object and then just simply scaling it. And if you have the, you know, um, my extension installed here, you can just work off that, of course, if you want to. And then moving things into place and then working off that. But but there's different, different approaches and different versions of that. So I'll leave it up to you to <laughs> figure out which one works best for you.